How's it going folks? I've been asked if I can do a bit of an update on the blueberries around the place so we'll take a bit of a wander down the back and I'll give you a gander. The blueberries started to flower and we've got quite a number of um, flowers that have already been and we might get some fruit from. We've got some more up here. Uh, last season we lost a lot of our blueberries to the Queensland fruit fly. So hopefully a lot of these guys will stick. Um, I haven't given this uh, bar barrel a lot of feed this season. But I have noticed we have warrigal greens popping up in there. So I don't know uh, quite how those seeds got there. Whether it's because I've just been nipping stuff off from over here. And tossing them in. Say good day, B. G'day. G'day. <laughs> so whether the seeds have come over from this bed. But yeah. Looks like we've got another satellite patch of warrigal greens. I was just trying to work out how I'm going to put a netting over this. I think what I might have to do is uh, put a stake either side. Maybe even three stakes and just hang a big bit of insect netting over the top. And try and draw it in down the base. And hopefully that'll keep the Queensland fruit fly out. Because I definitely don't want to lose the amount of fruit we did last year. Actually I'll take you up and show you the powder blue as well. This is the little powder blue blueberry. blueberry. <laughs> Getting tongue-tied. Blueberry I got from Daly's uh, fruit over here. Um, it's uh, supposed to be a little bit of a compact bush that likes the warmer climate, so it should do well here. I nearly killed it using my own dodgy compost in the uh, pouch there with some potting mix with some flour of sulphur, just trying to make the soil mix a little bit more acidic. Um, I ended up pulling it out a while back. I think I mentioned it on a clip somewhere. And popped in some azalea mix because it's got a lower pH for the azaleas um, and hydrangeas and it looks to have responded well pretty much all instantly they put on these little uh, green growths and then went to hit and it slowed down but looking up the stem here if the phone will focus it looks like we've got a lot of um, buds that are going to bloom as well as these ones on the top here so looking forward to them um, I'll probably end up doing cuttings off of both the blueberries this season if they pick up a little bit. This thing here full of furry little fruit is the mulberry that was transplanted out of the aquaponics. Uh, it was started in to the aquaponics um, just as a cutting this big and it ended up growing probably around about six foot tall in the aquaponics on a very steep lean and I transplanted it out here um, towards autumn I think it was, the end of summer towards autumn. And it's done fairly well. It's just in a little um, 30 litre or tw uh, what is it, 7 gallon um, root pouch just with our own compost mix. And I have actually pulled this back and put in some of the calcium fertilizer and also some of the chicken fertilizer, mainly because that compost um, batch. It's um, from that second cage, that cage there in the middle. Uh, the compost in there just didn't do too well on a lot of the plants I used it on, so. I decided to throw some fertilizer in there but yeah as you can see loads of furry little fruit all the way up this so I'll be coming out and snacking on these guys every morning while I think of it um, I might as well tell you what's happening with this tree this one here is going down in the middle of the hoop house area when the beds come out and it gets turned into a chicken coop this will be their summer shade and as you can see the leaves die back in um, during winter or the cooler months so it'll allow sun through for them and also to any fruit that fall I dare say they'll polish it up quick smart so there's a quick little update on how the blueberries are going and also to the mulberry as well let me know if you want more of these shorter style clips and I'll see if I can help you out hope everyone's having a fantastic week and your gardens are booming cheers folks